we're going to be working on this pattern here, which is pretty fun. It's got um, an eight-pointed star, but you can also see here the, sir, the square and then going backwards, a three-dimensional rectangle. So it's kind of an eye mind bender or eye visual uh, trick. And uh, we're going to begin it using the same pattern as the Moroccan star, or we're going to draw a circle and eight circles around it. Um, when you begin, you want to make sure that your compass and your pen are the same length. We're going to be using uh, an amount that's twice the distance of your compass, so you normally want to measure to find the center. And when you find the center, so that your artwork, if you're doing artwork, um, so it's not off off center when you're looking at it. Once you find the center, you're going to measure one, two. So this will go off the paper. I'll need to adjust my compass. I like this compass. It's by Statler because if you push these two things down, you can adjust it quickly. But then for a finer adjustment, a little bit at a time, you would turn the wheel, make it more accurate. So let me try again. One, two. So that, that should work. Let me measure the bottom. So again, normally I'd use pencil, but I want to be able to see it better. We're going to start with one circle, and we're going to draw the diameter, which means we're going to cut the circle in half with a line. So normally I put the pen in the center, then line up my ruler. Again, if it's artwork, you really want to make sure your ruler is parallel with the top of your paper. And here it is. So we're going to make two circles there, but we also need to find uh, the middle, which we have, but we need to draw a line that's 90 degrees or a perpendicular bisector. So we're going to open our compass and then we'll put it back to the same size. We're going to open it a little bit past what we started or where the center is. Go a little bit past the center and I'm going to make a mark, only a, a little mark on top instead of the drawing the whole thing to save erasing. And go to the other side and repeat. Now you can also do these on a separate piece of paper. You can draw the circle and cut it in half and then use your compass and not need to mark your artwork paper. So let's say I was measuring something, I could measure it on another paper, adjust my compass, and come back to the paper or canvas I'm working with. So here and here are the two X's, kind of like X marks the spot. We're going to line those up and draw another line. So we really don't need to draw the whole line so much as we need these spots we're going to make circles in those four areas. So the next step is to put your compass back to where we started, the original size. So we'll have to carefully adjust it, put the point back in the center. And as you can see, once I begin to turn my compass and adjust it a bit, it is maybe slightly more than the right size. So. Now you're going to put the compass point carefully on the edge where the circle meets the line. And you're going to draw a circle. You're going to go 90 degree rotation on top and do the same thing. You're going to go to the bottom, repeat. And you should have four circles. Well, five, including the starting circle. The next step is to find the points in between the two circles. So here are two circles. We want to find that spot in between. We don't need to use our compass because this center and this point here will give us the middle. So I'm going to line up my rulers. I'll line up both at the same time. And I'm going to make a mark here and here, here and here. I'm going to rotate my paper and repeat. here and here. So now I have four more spots to make circles. 
I'm going to put my compass back now on that spot that I found. I'm going to make a circle and repeat that three more times at the spots we found. Now, one thing I recommend when you're making your compass drawings is to be very careful. Um, once you begin to move your compass or if your compass is flimsy or cheap, the movement of the compass will ruin your drawing. So this is the next step and what we need to complete our drawing. So what we can do first is we can draw the star in the middle. To draw the star in the middle, we're going to be taking the spots where the circles intersect. So let me use a pencil to show you. We're going to connect here to below it here. So where these spots intersect are the spots we're going to use first. So we can draw straight lines going down and then turn our paper from here to here. Then I can move to the left and repeat here to here. Um, why don't I use another color to make it easier to see? Here to here, here to here. Now I'll rotate my paper 90 degrees and I'm going to repeat that here and here. Now I'm going to go diagonally. So I'm going to come back here and I'm going to connect this diagonal to this diagonal. Oh, I'm sorry, this point to this point on a diagonal. And then I'm going to go up above here and repeat that. Now I can turn my compass the other way, or my ruler, I mean. We're going to go from here to here. And we're going to go from here to here. So now we've drawn that center star here. Next, uh, we can draw the outline. So we're going to connect here, here, here. It's going to make an octagon because there are eight points. So I'll take my ruler and begin to connect the dots. Now we'll simply finish. Um, I'm going to draw lines straight up here and here. So I'm going to go from here straight up, and then I'm going to go from here straight up. And I'm going to repeat that on the bottom. I'm going to go here, go straight down, and go here, go straight down. Now I'm going to rotate my paper and repeat that. I'm going to start at the point of the star, the tip, go straight up, start at the tip of the star, go straight up, and then repeat that. Start at the tip of the star, go up, start at the tip of the star, and go up. So the final step is going to be to connect the diagonals. We're going to start on the top right corner of the little squares. And we're gonna to go to the top right corner of the big square. And then I'm gonna repeat that diagonally. I'll rotate my paper. Again, I'm gonna go from the top right square to this other top right. And then go top left to top left. And this will help us to finish off our shape. Oh, and it looks like I forgot one of the lines here.
So that's our final pattern. Uh, you can see the 3D box, I guess, uh, maybe if I shade it in a bit. You can see this square here, and you can see it sort of connecting to this plane here. And you're seeing something like this. So this is the construction to this beautiful design. And we can go further and further. Uh, there is one more design based off of this that I know of that will give us something like this. So it's based off of the same eight circle. Hopefully you're able to construct it. Take care and have fun.